Next one. Oh yeah, I'm live as well. Hello! Welcome to the OCC! Ooh. It was something or rather, I don't know, words. Oh, I should probably stop watching Space Kid at the same time. Yeah. Attention. Well, and also Space Cadet will have been playing over the first few seconds of this very, very, um, you know, professional stream. All the pals, all, all pals so far. Oh, I haven't actually started the. I, I, we're paused at the beginning, so we're going to sit through uh, your your setup, and I'll tell you when we've caught up. Uh, but yeah, you're so. Let's see if anybody actually watches as well. Lol. Oh, yeah, lol. Well, who are you up against? Oh, oh this, this is big. I'm going to mic it over there. It's injured as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're still and watching. We're still watching Setup. <laughs> oh, yes, and the, and the Emperor is a fire as well. Oh, man. This is breaking. Oh, my God. Is it going to be another Ethelred win? Nobody wants that. I don't I have a feeling I'm going to need to turn you up a bit because I think you're a bit quiet. Hey now, why? I think I do. I'm going to do hand off to this guy. I want to pass this guy, why not? Well, I could throw the game at this point, but, you know, that might be loading into the pitch. Big room. Oh, you're a bit echo you you were a bit echoey because I uh uh you know still had the speaker on and wasn't listening on headphones. But that should be fixed now. Good rats aren't moving as well, so we should probably get two diamonds. Well, no, one diamond ball. I think. But he hasn't got, I checked before, he hasn't got any dauntless rats. Dauntless. Dauntless horns rats are the worst, right? Well, dauntless rats are the worst. Dauntless is, is like you just uphill. It's not even like up, uh, uphilling with strip is basically as good, right? Yeah. So why, why pick dauntless? Well, I think it gives people a... Okay, and we've just got to the... We just got to the point where the, um... The Storm Vermin got sent... got killed. He's less likely than 2D against with Strip. If you've got block, is that right? Against a block player. Sorry, what? Say that again? So 2D against with strip, yeah. right? It's better odds than a 1D against um, a block player if you've got block as well, right? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's better to red dice with strip so and and wrestle than it is to just 1D oh, with wrestle. Strip. Okay, I'm actually paying attention now. There may have been some point. Oh, and it, it uh, la la la. It still says it says the OC predictions in the. Oh yeah, that's gone. All right, now now I think we're we're. Fine. Oh, and Franco is there. Hello, Tom and Franco. Yeah, Ethel had a bit of an echo because I normally don't wear headphones at my computer and I have the speaker on and the speaker's kind of next to the microphone. Which when you're chatting to people is kind of not a problem. Um, but obviously when you're streaming them, their voice is coming out of the speaker and then going back to the microphone. Um, so that should be all right now. Is it still e echoey? I don't think there should be anywhere except Discord where his voice will be coming through. Uh, and also, I am going to turn him up a little bit because I think he was a bit quiet and muttery a little while ago. 
Um, he may have to wander away from the, the microphone, the re the re which is the reason I'm uh, streaming rather than him. Um, so I guess this moment of silence is is that. Whoops. Are you leaving? Uh, no, I, I accidentally moved you into Rocket League instead of streaming, and then I just dragged you back. Well, actually, I've just got to go and do something a second, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, cool. There you go, yeah. So he's, he has a it's a, uh, a small, ill child at home, so uh, he's probably going to make sure that she's all right. Um, but, yeah, so he was. Uh, I actually started the stream after Ethel has that storm vermin, which he was very excited about at the time yeah okay right safe blocks first that's good what was the inducements none none for either of us Says unstable and poor network connection detected. Really? Yeah, it looks all right. I think. Maybe it's one, is it one of those where if I wiggle around it, it goes all blurry. Maybe. Oh, the bit rate's kind of low. Oh, power one, one, one rat. Come on, let's get rid of a rat. This would be pleasing. Oh, just a stun. Yeah, that was a pretty uh, interesting move. Let's just send a gutter runner forward. Be a, be a scoring threat at any moment, obviously, but kind of a bit meaningless when they haven't gone for the ball. So yeah, so I, unless it was if, unless it, if it wasn't obvious, I'm gonna try and I've tried to screen off this side of the pitch now. Yeah. Um, because his mighty blow is gone, which is the the better the best removal for me. Um, he has got a tackle piece there, and he's got the roger, but and there's also just random hits, but um, it's fine. And actually, the guy I wanted to score on, who I did the little pass to earlier, he's he leveled with that hit, so I didn't really need to do the throw to pass to him. So. Ideally, I want to score with this guy here, Caligula the Fourth. Um, we, we we can't see who this guy here is, by the way. You know oh that, yeah, right? Oh yeah, you can't, can you? <laughs> oh, the next, I mean, double skulls. That's unlucky. Lol. That's fine. It's fine. But the reroll gone, which is good. So yeah, so you you have to name to to tell me who you're talking about. So yeah, the Blodge Blitzer, who's on the LOS. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to score on him really. Do you want to make a Vanity Pass with Ring of O as well? Is Ring of O the other one on... Um... Oh, Crop. No, Crop is the... is also... I know there's, one, I know there's maybe one of them on uh, on Nearly as well. So. Oh, yeah, so Ring of O is the guy, the move bus lineman in front of the ball at the moment. Right. And yeah, he's yeah. one SPP sh shy of There we go, it. that's quite good. Getting the rat um, ogre on the ball. Pretty easy to fix though, right? Yeah, but still got to roll dice, haven't I? So ball is base, game over, according to Reddit. Oh, yeah, Reddit. GG. It's the peanut gallery. Ah, oh, hey, Dreamland. Hey, Dreamland. Yeah. Thought I'd put off doing what I'm supposed to be doing for a bit. Excellent. You you were a bit quiet there, but I've just turned you up. I think you'd be better now. Cool. Now then. 
Although what might be, what it might be is you might have been a bit far away from your mic, and then suddenly you're going to lean into it, and it's going to be really loud. It's no, it's where it normally is. Yeah, I have it pretty close in general. So yeah, avoiding work. Yeah, we something like that. We have played our game right, so yeah, we don't have other games to play as well. That's fine. Yeah. No, no, no. No. No, no. I've got. Got my OCC game Monday. I think yeah. that's the only league game I've got outstanding. Mine's on Monday as well. I think the same. Oh no! Uh, yeah, no, I totally failed to organise my RPS shotgun game for a while. But that's what I don't know. What was that, Ethel? Tut tut. Tut tut. I mean, my opponent didn't exactly, you know, well, it wasn't like I ignored him or anything. He didn't do anything either. Yeah, but, you know, you should be um, setting an example. Oh, you? no, I do have a game to play against Helio, where we're the... <laughs> Helio started the week by going, hey, we should play, or the, the you know, other people will make fun of us for being the only, ab being the only team outstanding and, and being admins. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Now then, I can see a surf here things go my way oh no can i i mean yeah uh i can just push right if i go into there and blitz put one push to there to there oh no to there and another one to there and maybe not but i can certainly get the ball free okay right take some of these first I mean, again, we, we have no idea what you, what there to there to there no, all no, means. No, that's, that's, <laughs> no, but that's, for, that's for my benefit, isn't it? Not for your yeah. benefit. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, you, there could be some accusations of. Um, yeah. Uh, um, oh, actually, you could stream on uh, over Discord. Two dice onto him. Push you there. I need someone there, idea, so we can push you one square that way. And then and then again, and then I could, with those assists, get the assist right. Okay, can I reach anyone to that square? I can with a GFI. Shall I do? Shall I try it with a GFI? But if I can get rid of that strength floor blitzer, then that could be GG. Right, well let's try. Okay, obviously he fails the GFI. Okay. Let's do all that. <laughs> Alright, let's go for the blitz. <sighs> um, which way do we want to go now? Go there and then there. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand what, what that GFI was for. The GFI was to block up that's the square where the ball is now. So then I could have pushed my ball so, carrier onto his strength four. And then if I got another push, pushed him again, and then we could have got a a, a surf, I think, couldn't we? Maybe that's not the case. No, yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have. You wouldn't have pushed this plus strength guy twice. You've only pushed him once, okay. and then well, you would have been standing next do to. We, do we want to dodge the witch out? There's no tackle on that that roger. Uh, but where we can we we'll cover the gutter runner? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, now, do we want to dodge to there and hand off and then get safe? We do so. Let's move. Okay, let's move the witch there. And move that dodge player down there. And let's move you that way. Two plus dodge. Off. Okay, 
I'm, I'm surprised you did that after using the reroll. That was kind of scary. Well, that's only a two plus. Yeah, but either of those two pluses fail and you drop the ball on the floor next to a bunch of rats. Yeah, I suppose so. Bit of speculate to accumulate late. And when has a two ever failed? Well, that's also true, isn't it? And, you know, after taking a turn where you're trying to work out how to surf someone, you have left one of your players <laughs> immensely surfable. What have you... What would you... <laughs> No, serious question now. What would you have done instead of make? Would you have not dodged out then of the block of the? Yeah, the no. I I thought once you took about the whole turn, or you just the last thing. Just the last, the last thing. thing. Well, see, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have done the beginning of that turn anyway, right? So it's kind of hard to really compare. What, you would have GFI'd you? into the. No. I definitely wouldn't have GFI'd into that square. No, that was fair enough. I didn't think that through. I thought I'd thought it through, but uh, it turned out I hadn't thought it through. <laughs> you spent a long time thinking about it, but it didn't. It, it didn't work out. You know no, what you were planning quite. didn't actually work yeah, at all. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I wouldn't have done that. I either would have gone. For, I, I was thinking about the idea of trying to hand it off and get forward. I would have. I was going to use the witch to blitz away from the tackle, basically. So. Hit the tackle. Yeah. I'm um, gone the other way. Well, just to it just meet. Well, if you not get the knockdown, then, then the ball carrier is not on tackle anymore. And if you don't get a knock, knockdown, you get two pushes and the, uh, and then three. that's three on the witch maybe. Yeah. Oh, I got that as well. Okay. Move that. Just the two. Okay. Well, at least it didn't no, serve. I would have done the exact same blitz. Yeah. yeah what you suggested? But you suggested corner. Sorry, not on this turn. Oh. But for yeah. the last turn, I would have blitzed from the left diagonal the left square onto the, diagonal tackle, onto the tackle, and then move. pushed the ball carry over there, and then I would have screened up on the right. Right. But yeah, because you right, had yeah. the three people on the LOS to yeah. go in that direction. Go that way. Yeah. Sure. Got you. I think I still would have been going around where where his exit player was, because the three players. Or two of them at least had dodge, right? So you can still dodge through fairly safely. It's not a problem with like going up that direction. I just would have swapped to the right um, and then brought the edgy player over the top to still have the threat, but then screened off that entire right side of the field. Mm. It's not that it's necessarily like... It, you could have got further forward, but it was also turn three, so I wasn't... When I was looking at it, I wasn't too worried about being that far forward, I was just taking the space. I'd also be trying to get the ball on one of the players that you actually want to score on rather than someone who's a legend already. Thanks. Uh, but I wouldn't have done the same thing the rat player did either. I think I might have gone for the surf on the blodge player with the with the roga. I think you should have definitely done that. Yeah, I agree with that. I think um, it was a bit silly not to do that. Maybe he didn't because he was afraid of getting counter surfed by the witch. Yeah, maybe. Um, okay, let's move the ball safe. First of all, stand you up. To block first. Oh, another power! Come on, the removal here be very exciting. I mean, you've already cast the storm vermin. Shouldn't be hoping, you know. Point. Yeah, all right, I know, but I, I just... can I not just have the simple enjoyment of getting a removal. <laughs> went every time to say, "Oh, that's not very likely to get a removal because you've already got one removal." So why, why are you talking about getting more? Sorry, that was. Perhaps some excessive, <laughs> <laughs> excessive um, impressions there, but I thought you nailed it. Right, let's watch this guy off. There we go. 
what tail. Uh, and that'll do it. I'm taking cheeky 1Ds or push uh, gutters any closer to the ball than I have to for once. So the plan is now, obviously, just to hold on to the ball for as long as possible, right? Um, don't, obviously, don't answer that because that's possibly helping, but that's my plan. To score as late as possible because mm -hmm. there's all rats. Um, but for once, most of my players are over the LOS and they're on the, my, the ball is on the right side of my players. So, again, it's, you know... It's, so it's, it's all coming up at the red. Yeah. <laughs> that, that flop dice. Well, I don't say coming up Etherred, because that's usually when I throw it away through doing <laughs> squares or, or doing a, 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 a stupid move first or something similar. So, yeah. Or leaving a bunch of elves based unnecessarily. Yeah, that's the one. Finally a wild animal. I say finally. <laughs> it's the second time he's not been blitzing. <laughs> A pretty much perfect average. One success at move and one fail at move. What's the name of the vermin on the end? Because they were named after streamers. I and it was Davo, because Davo had some bad bad luck this week, hasn't he? As well with um. Oh, oh I felt the second dodge. Who's John R? Never heard of him. Ah, uh, and he's got his, he's got himself as the thrower. Does that mean he'll be streaming as well? What'd you say again? Do you think he's streaming as well? He's the thrower. Um, I don't I don't think so. It's possible, I suppose. I just checked, and he's not in there. Maybe he's a YouTube streamer. Yeah, I wonder. There's a bunch of names I don't know who they are. Kylo? Is there a. a is he a Blood Bowl streamer or is there. A, I assume there's another streamer called Kylo. I'm not sure, to be honest. That got it, that, um, oh, someone just followed and that was very loud. Oh, Rochelle. Hello, Rochelle. Um, what was, what was about? I was about to say something then. I'm totally forgot. Oh, yeah, so it turns out that Rat Ogre successfully moving on the first turn kind of has left it miles out of, out of position for the rest of the, yeah, the half. In a way, before when he moved it, the rat over forward, I was like, yeah, don't keep doing that because that's better. Whereas keeping the central on defence is, well, it's, it's, a, it's a good sweeper, isn't he? Well, the rat ogre. Mm, in terms of, you know, is a threat that you'd have to consider. Yeah, I guess. Three, and he would be blitzing, so it would be just a two plus. I mean, he's not brilliant, a brilliant sweeper because obviously he um, lacks tackle and lax um, block, but as a threat, better. I don't want to keep him around the middle just to say, you know, he's, yeah, he's, he's a good threat and therefore you want to keep him in a bunch of players around the middle of the pitch punching things. Uh, oh, was Michelle summoned by the fact that you uh, you injured Andy Davo? <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> just for... Just for Rochelle, I'll oh, and, 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 and it's a movement bust, yeah, just like his uh, one turner. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Was that in OCC? Yeah, yeah, so his, his, his natty is now oh. no longer a natty. His natty that he took kick on first skill and then guards and then rolled two yeah. movement ups. 
<laughs> so there was a, a better lesson of not taking kick first on Wood Elf catchers. It is that player. Yeah. Let's. That's, wow. It's a CCL thing, isn't it? I've seen it quite a bit in CCL, the uh, taking it on catchers. Yeah, like, it's kind of not a terrible thing, but taking it first, I don't like, is, you know, like, they could, as, as happened in this case, you know, once once they start rolling stamps and stuff, you kind of want them, ooh. Oh, I just realised I've got the wrong logos. Oh, well. Tag me. I've got a tackle player nearby. Yeah, that the what the guard uh, got around is called Shadow, and instantly I thought of Shadowing Hunter, but that's not his actual streaming name, is it? So. Maybe not him. He didn't. Do you think he'll get shadowing next, though? Maybe not next. No, he's taking sure feet, so. Sprint to go with the sure feet? I mean, why has he yeah. not got stand, uh, sidestep? Yeah, yeah no. why. Sure feet is the fourth skill. Why dodge Great, through tackle? When, why dodge through tackle when you've got sure feet so you can make two go prints instead? <laughs> Just saying. Three, four, that'd be five. Counting with Ethel. <laughs> it's, it's quite weird as well. I'm watching it on the stream, so it's a slight delay compared. Oh, to yeah. So, what so you're talking about. Uh, I, it's just going like random counting. It's even better. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, we couldn't see. I can. It was delayed for me, I but anyone, I don't think anyone could see what I was counting. But no. I was actually counting assists on. I was about to say. I'm guessing strength to, to get to get free dice block on that gutter runner was, yeah. was what you were counting. Yeah, um, yeah. But I, there was a delay for me as well. But yeah, the delay for you is even bigger, isn't it? It's like three or four seconds. Do I greedy re-roll that? Two turns left. Two re-rolls. Oh, uh, Raven is the... Okay. It, so um, Ethelred and I do a kind of OCC podcasty thing every Wednesday. So it's Ethelred and... Uh, does Raven stream? Because everyone else is a streamer, so I was wondering if there was a, a, a you know, a what's it. But I am not Raven. I am I am friend of Ethelred. Is that how you describe yourself in all circumstances? I wouldn't say we were friends. Yeah, I was about to say that that, that might be a bit too much. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> We've met in real life and we stream together. Bit like Zunk and Andy, except our heights are slightly closer together. Yeah. Are they? How tall are you? Oh, God, we're back onto heights. How tall are you again? You I'm 6'1". 6'1". Right. Actually, yeah, I think he's taller than you by... So maybe, maybe we're... Maybe we're. No, wait, wait, wait. Zunk's taller this than you. what we need to focus on. I'm shorter than Andy. So, yeah, our, our heights are closer together than Zunk and Andy. Right. Andy's tall, isn't he? Surprisingly so. It's about six three, I think, something like that. I just joined a new team at work, and without exception, every man is over six foot. So it's really um, <laughs> intimidating. Well, we've been intimidating until it wasn't forty three and didn't give a fuck. But it's. Uh, are yeah. you the are you the man? You're not the manager. You're not in charge of everyone. Telling I'm not do. in charge of everyone. Oh, okay. I've got a, um, a woman as a boss. Both at home and at work. <laughs> Lol. I'm not even joking. <laughs> um, but well, one guy just left our team, and he's um, like Darth Vaderish tall. He's like six seven or something like that. Something ridiculous like that. It's insane. Okay, another loner hit. Yeah, there are quite a few noticeably tall people who play Blood Bowl. And he doesn't even seem that tall because I've been standing with K Fog and him. Next to each other, I think K Fog's taller. Is K -fog? I think he's taller. I think he might be six, four, six five. I don't know, but you know, it's too tall. Too tall. <laughs> I 
There is that, there was that really funny thing at uh, the UKTC of uh, meeting streamers that you've only seen sitting down before. So like you know. <laughs> You build an impression, don't you, of just like personality yeah. correlates to what they, their physical build is. Yeah. I and also the, their facial appearance are like, uh, you know, uh, PC's got quite a round face, which makes you assume that he's a, a shorter gentleman, but he's actually the same way as me. No, I say PC's quite tall, doesn't he? Six foot, yeah. yeah. I, know, I, I know what you mean. Uh, whereas, um, ha no, not Hargrim, the other, uh, Seabrawls. Whereas Seabrawls is thick, he's kind of a thin, angular face, which makes him look like he's a, a skinny, tall person, but he's actually a very small person. I think it might be the Nordic lookingness as well. He just, I just assumed he'd be really tall. Yeah, Nordic. You tall. just assume Scandinavians are tall, yeah. 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 Yeah, PC is not helped by the fact that he coaches dwarfs. So mentally, I, I just think of him as a dwarf coach and therefore literally a bit shorter. <laughs> oh, yeah, Galentio followed as well. Hello, Galentio. This is a sign of how long it's been since I've done any streaming. That there are people who've been chatting a lot in our streams that weren't following me. Mm. Right. I can, I think I can sort out for another turn. But he's definitely going to go for the ball, no matter what happens. So this, this could be a mistake. Um, let's have a think about what I'm going to do. I don't want to score to give him two turns, really. Uh, who's going to be the threat? Well, it's not going to be the strength four vermin because he is AG three. That gutter is going to be a threat. Um, so I need to block him off as much as possible. I can get one player there. I can get him to there. Okay, let's move him there first. Let's block off that gutter. With that bit. Stand you up. Move the kicker to screen. Okay, you can actually get there with the GFI, that's fine. Okay, let's... Oh, I moved the wrong player then. Right, okay. Uh, okay, can I move that side? Let's move you to there. No blitz for, for this turn. You were going to blitz the plus strength storm vermin and then move the player that you're going to yeah, use to assist. I should have, I should have done. The, see this player here, Crop, who I moved first. I, for some reason, I thought that was the ball carrier and I shouldn't have moved him at all, really. Right, let's GFI into this square to make that a bit safer. <laughs> red. And then let's move you and foul the gutter runner. Rochelle keeping a similar uh, sleep schedule to me. Waking up at 2.30 in the afternoon. Rowdy, oh. rowdy foul with a, a, a team who have a total of 11 players and two of them are already in the KO box. Yeah, but it, that, was, that would have been a good removal, wouldn't it? You know, he's, his Apo's gone. That's, that, that was worth it, I think. It's the optimistic thinking that I like. Uh, just if it works, it's great. 
Getting sent off, not so great. No. But, you know, it's a risk, isn't it? That's the risk you, you have. I mean, for an armor, for, it was armor six with assists, so I think it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, you can. Well, I suppose you could surf Caligula here. It's Portugal also on summertime, so there's up for six hours now, which sounds like ages, but it's actually only 10 o'clock or something. No, wait, 8, eight yeah, o'clock. Well, they're on an hour ahead, aren't they, because they're Central European time. Are they? I thought they were the same as us. No, I think it's I think it's the same time as the UK, oh, at least in winter. But I don't know whether they have daylight savings and stuff. Yeah, I think so. I think the whole of Europe now observes the same summertime move right they should get rid of it just pick a time and stick with it yeah cool same time as the uh, as the Ulfs I mean UK <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I'm not I'm, I, I don't really care about the whole clocks changing thing it's not a big deal I think that's I, I guess I'm fine with it being removed I'm also fine with it staying yeah, I'm not. I'm not bothered either way. I'm gonna be honest. It's, I mean, it's easier for me in my work to be on the same time as everyone else in Europe, but it's not. You know, it's not essential. Yeah, it messes with me a little bit too. But it's kind oh, of. It's kind of. Loud. It's kind of good to, to be reminded about uh, about what time of year it is <laughs> when you're not paying enough attention. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose when you don't have work to frame. Do you know even know what day it is, called night? It is Friday. Because that's when your game is. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Okay, can you get tackle on the ball? No. Is he going to GFI the rogue? Oh no, he can't. Oh, he's in contact. I didn't. I didn't see Ga Caligula just behind him. I thought he's going to. Hmm. So. Now I guess he sticks the strength guy on you. Yeah. And scoring threat gutter just in, just on the off chance. Come in. All right, so I guess uh, Etheret's going to be off the mic for a second. Why is that? I, I just, wasn't that, that a knock on your door? No, it wasn't me. Oh, was it? Maybe it was uh, Dreamland. Ah. Uh, he was getting a parcel. He's ordered the new um, squat trike. <laughs> the new squat trike? Yeah. Is that true? Oh, and I've got a phone for myself. <laughs> Hello? 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 How long are you going to be? Not one hour. Okay. All right. Cool. I'll give you, I'll give you a call in an hour then. Yeah. Front door, literally two meters away from the computer. What? What did you win? No, it's just Amazon getting delivered. Yeah. What did you? Uh, what did you win? Oh, nothing exciting. Well, I, uh, I, I muted myself on Discord so the two of you couldn't hear me, but left the stream uh, microphone open so everyone, well, Rochelle and Glencio could hear me answer the phone to my son. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. It's fine, I was taking a delivery and they were asking all of, like, date of birth and stuff like that for <laughs> it, so... I don't, think... Oh, I, don't think we could hear... I don't think we could hear you that well. There was just, like, some muttering in the background, right? Okay. Yeah, you can't score, so that's good. I suppose you can get a scoring threat in, in range, to be honest. But... Because of the timing, that uh, uh, Rochelle was wondering if maybe it was uh, your pup, your your delivery man was phoning me to check if you were the right person, Dreamland. 
I may well, have. Glad because they gave me what I'm, <laughs> they gave me my delivery finally. So. Was it a squat bike, which is what Ethelred said said it might be? A what? Sorry. A squat trike. I assume like the squats as in the dwarfs. Yeah, on 40k, squats are now League of Votan, and they, at Warhammer World this week or last week, they announced the new model squat trike. Tri trikes were, you know, the one of the things of squats back in the day. Yeah, I remember them. And there's a new one, but it's an anti ground trike now, but obviously it's an homage. And uh, well, back. when they first said squats are back, there was a, it was on April the 1st, and it was... Uh, yeah, you know, and everyone thought... This yeah, is a piss take. G GW hate squats, they burned them to the ground. Yeah, the Tony's at them, but apparently not, so... Squats are back. I've still got a squat in Exo armor, you know, like their their version of Terminator armor. Yeah. Terrible model. It's just a blob with with a chainsaw. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they, I mean, they weren't weren't very well designed, were they? You know what I, mean? But, I mean, there's like what, you know... games games workshop, not well designed. <laughs> I think it. I like the design of it generally, but it's like it is a blob shape, and clearly. There's no way that this thing was ever able to move or do any fighting or anything in real life, you know. If you had any of the actual articulation in the in the model. What is this, Ethelred? What is what? What what is this? What is this it's is a, this your anti one turn setup? My anti one turn, yeah. But there are so many reasons why this is wrong and just pointless and but so how does this stop the, the one's turn? Is I it is it really is know. this supposed to be pushed to dial? Have you basically yeah, heard a story I... about how the the front line of, of two and one and then I don't know what the rest what it uh, feels like there's some like like it's Chinese whispers one turn defence. Like there was yeah. someone you heard someone talking about a correct setup and you sort of just only heard it from like the other end of a crowded pub or something like that. Yeah. Because for a start, you got the two and the one the wrong way around. The one is in the middle and the two are to one side. Ah, okay. And the reason I wanted it... to do it without looking at your um your your cheat sheet because I thought I'd be cheating in game. But you know, you do it a few yeah. times and then it sticks in your head. That's the yeah. Uh, and the whole point of doing that is push denial. Um, so you have to put the other players behind them so that they can't get round the back. Otherwise, it's just completely pointless. Oh, okay. Yeah, because like this, there are so many ways that this could be a one turn. I think I would, I think I'd go for blitzing. Wait, does he have guard? He does have guard, right? So yeah, I'd, oh no, but it's the, the guard is also the sure feet one. So is that who you want to to push? Hmm, that might that makes it kind of more interesting. I think yeah, I think no, I think I'd blitz the blodger into no way. Let me think. Into the roger. He's got a full team as well. No, he's got one short. Two short. Oh, no, one short because he had one um, reserve. Uh, he's going for the whole method and using the Roger, both of which are less than optimal. Okay, so he's going with the with the two heads gutter runner so he can dodge more easily past your screen. Don't hate that. Go to there. One the second one doesn't cause pushes. Because he can't fill those two squares. Unless you're gonna hit with the the guy behind the Rauger. No, that didn't work. Cause well, he's going to split for the strength four, isn't he? I think. Yeah, he's going to split for the strength four and push the blodger into that gap next to the rat ogre. I guess then the strength four can go here, and then he can hit with the gutter runner to get push number one. I think it's possible. Oh yeah, it's definitely possible. Like he only needs two pushes. It's easy. It's like, is this the best way? No. Oh, and now you having that one random player there makes all the difference.
So maybe it wasn't such a stupid setup after all. And even did the right blitz. I was kind of, I was wondering if you might choose the wrong thing, but. Oh, hang on. Not sure about following. I think you shouldn't have followed. Because I think now. It's not easy, though. I think that gutter was the only one in range, wasn't he? So, well, the others are in range, but they need more dice. Uh, yeah, he's, he's. I think he's given up on it because he's just on a block with someone that would have been useful. But he, what he could have done is he could have blitzed the loner uh, line elf, then push your elf a square further, or get into the player who's already done a block. I should probably should get the ball to the player first of all. But... Probably not going to make it anyway. You going to go for the handoff? Or have you just totally given up? Yeah, totally given up. I still think it's doable. Just being pushed back one isn't enough. Especially, I don't think you should have followed, because following gives you gives yeah, him... I, when I followed, I thought, oh, I shouldn't have done that, because it makes the the t-shape well, the box doesn't it yeah which alla allows pushes well i mean like the, the the thing you need to do to get the pushes is to have an enemy player like behind the player you want to push right so yeah if, if all your players are in front of all, all his players then it's hard to get that and if they're all two squares away it makes what i mean then it's even harder but he just gave up Okay, so pleasing, 1-0, the half. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Glen and Glento also mentions I would have gone with the sidestep one because it's easier. Sidestep makes it really easy. Um, and, as, you know, but I understand wanting the two heads, the dodges through at the end. The, the back line means kind of that should, should have been the hardest thing. That and the kick-up events that might ruin it. And obviously he, you got a blitz, so that ruined it. Yeah. Right. Especially yeah. with the two gapped back line. Like the two heads make a big difference because you're only back dodging into one tackle. Yeah, literally it's just two up, two up, two up with, with the two heads. Okay, right. But like, you know, rats need three pushes, and even after you blitz that one, you only need it. Sorry, rats need two pushes, and even after the, the blitz, you only need three pushes to make it in range. So I think that was eminently do doable with what was left. Now, what kind of rat coach is he going to be? Is he going to be a score quick and hope to turn you over? I don't to be honest, I, I think he probably should score quickly, shouldn't he? Because he's um, what's he is he playing for the draw otherwise? If he doesn't score quickly, I mean that's the that's always the question, isn't it? When you're down one nil at the half, it's like what do you what do you play for? Team man, what would you do if you were the rats in this case? Early stage of the season, you've got was he still got eleven? Yeah, he's still got eleven. Yeah, he outnumbers me by one, and it's 10, 10 versus 11. I'd probably go for it. Oh, uh, yeah, outnumbers you by two. It's nine versus 11. Oh, sorry, nine, yeah. Because you have yeah, foul. I double go for it. Again, I always, I never decide sort of beforehand in general. I'll sort of set up going for it, but then if it's like a. If the dice get too hard. Yeah. The, yeah. Although saying that against you. In Pony, I just rolled all of the dice when it wasn't going my way to sort of try and force that chance. Yeah, I mean, like, and also I, I rolled a couple of running nines after spatting all my all my rerolls away. So, you know. but 
But it's not. That's one of the things about streaming, right? You kind of need to explain yourself more, make, which makes you think more about your choices. Like, it's so easy to just like set up in what you think of as the normal setup. Is this guy yeah. confused because he can't like none of his none of his uh, you know pre-programmed setups match the uh, the the offset LOS. He, he's basically he's basically gone through his pre. There we are. No, he started moving people by hand. There we go. I never use the pre set up things. Well, they're all terrible. No, as in I don't even save my own. I'm terrible for it. Like, I, I used to, used to always save my own, but there's something that happens every so often where they just get reset, and I just got bored of having to to save them and then them. Resetting yeah, all the time. I think after the, the fifth or sixth time, because players have changed or moved or whatever, um, of my kicker being left off the pitch or somewhere <laughs> off the pitch, because I'd gone with the standard setup, then I just, yeah, I just stopped using it. Now, to be honest. You do get frustrated with that. Like in, in my, with my pony team, the Skaven, it just defaults having the leader thrower off the pitch. Yeah, I, yeah, and that's the other thing, isn't it? Sometimes the leader goes off. Players need on or off, basically, or vice versa. It's interesting. I was looking at the, the so the default set. You can actually change the default setups in Blobble if you're willing to open the the you know the files up and file edit, yeah, yeah. And, and edit the text. Um, and it specifies positions, and you know the, where people are standing by their position. So like, thrower goes here, blitzer goes here, blitzer goes here. Okay. I thought it would be number allocated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's obviously some kind of number allocation after that, but it's positions first. Uh, yeah, and Rochelle says, I forgot Raven plays Skaven in OCC. Well, he should play Skaven because it rhymes, but anyway. Uh, I've always seen him as an elf player. Oh, I mean, that's good. Rats and elves, pretty similar, right? Yeah. That's, again, quite lucky for me. What was lucky? What? I missed the kickoff event. The kickoff event was high kick. We put the throw underneath it, uh, then it, he dropped it, and then it landed on that um, line rat. That lineman, which isn't great. But. Well, it depends. If his intention is to just run away in two turn, I don't hate having the ball that far up that quickly. Yeah, the only, I mean, the advantage obviously is the ball being on a blodger rather than a, a non yeah. non defensive oh. player, right? That was a bold throw. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, I mean, I respect it because it's good, but I don't think I would have done that. Not against AG5, who's easily within distance of collecting that if it goes awry. Again, may maybe I'm too conservative as a coach. I would never do that in any circumstance that isn't already a, 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 a 3-0 situation. Yeah. Especially not 1-0 one, one down. I mean, you know, I, no, I would actually do that. Would but, you? But the player would have to be on 5 SPP already. That wouldn't take a 0 SPP line, line rat and throw him from, from there. I, I, I would also be doing it somewhere deeper in, in my own half. Yeah. Out of range of the AG5, perhaps. But I have, I have 100% really done Vanity Pass. Anyway. I've 100% done Vanity Passes, turn 9, with AG3. You know, that's how you level your kiss, your kiss level blitzers. <laughs> that's not quite what we're looking at here, though, is it? No, well, no, it's the same. It is the same. It's an AG3 player throwing to an AG4 player. I mean, the ball's also now on a wrestle player. I mean, that makes no difference, right? Because it was previously on a player with, with neither with wrestle nor, nor block. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing he's going to be handing off anyway, and... I mean, he shouldn't go, you know, for what he, what I think he might do, which is uh, run up the side. But he might, he might do. Now, greedy or not, greedy or not, greedy or not, greedy and punished. I mean, what intrigues me is the fact that he oh, re-rolling that is greedy. Uh, you know, because the ball's kind of not very well protected at the moment. I'm intrigued by the whole surrounding one player with rats move. I'm not sure what that does. I mean, it means he has to 3-2 out 
and elves hate rolling three two with dodge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how safe is this going to be? I reckon it'll be relatively safe. Yeah, I think it'll be relatively safe. Not as safe as it should be. Should be. You bring one of the gutters to stand directly in front and one to cover the back. Mm. But then you probably have a. You could probably 1D and then have dice on the ball. I mean, it's 2D, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, 1D a gap and then two dice on the ball. Or just leap. Or just leap. Or we'll not even do that. At the moment. Hmm. This feels very gambly. Hmm. We'll just go for the surf. Use the guard gutter runner. Get someone. <laughs> was, was the, uh, <laughs> Rochelle was, was playing around last night and built a custom Skaven team in BB2, and of course had to make chat Chunter and Natty Gutter Runner. I mean, like, Chunter's. Not that big into natties, right? He obviously, he takes them and he uses them, but like his what he's famous for, as far as I'm concerned, shadowing. is shadowing. Shadowing hunter is his name amongst some of us, and uh, especially shadowing stand firm gutter. That's what you should have built. Block shadowing stand firm tackle. And have a have a go at playing with that. It's a lot of fun. Ah, uh, actually got pushes. Usually when you try and do this kind of play, it's just pals coming out your ears. No, no injury though. Ah, one less card though. Well, that that only matters if you stop him scoring this turn. Yeah, true. But, you know, maybe it was all just a clever feint. He's not really going to go for the two-turn score. Oh, yeah, with tail as well. Yeah. I do think that shadowing is only useful on gutting. Oh! Oh! Oof! That's both storm vermin. You, you bad, bad person. And that definitely makes scoring quickly a bad idea, right? Although, the position he's currently in, that's now, you know, kind of has to score quickly. Yeah. No, you can wrap back. But it do it's not going to be good positionally. It's going to take a few turns to recover it. Like you're pretty much giving up on the win if you don't. Oh, I I, I think I think I would have made the one one dice on the uh I with uh is it Caligula no cuffs oh what yeah that was it's tilted I think understandably so because that was that's pretty shitty what happened but Galencio says classic Raven. Strength four as well. Is that first action rogue? Yeah. 
Yeah. And I think the tilt is is mostly suggested by the fact that um, there was no attempt to re-roll it, which I think I probably would have done, right? It was a mistake, well, but, you, you know... Well, I think you just lose the ball if you don't. Yeah. And it's highly likely with the Adge 5 and Elves all around it that if you get knocked down, it's just going up the other end of the pitch and you lose. I get knocked down. Hmm. Interesting choice of blitz. Okay, I see the plan. It was just reliant on that pa powing. Powing everything. Just, just roll powers. Yeah. Um. Right. <gasps> Thank you at first. Let's hit you. <laughs> I go to say when he was in my div, 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 his team also kept dying, which suggests that maybe he bases things up too much, which is you know probably a bit rich for me to say when I'm casting one of Ethelred's games, but. <laughs> I mean, he's also playing rats. Like, yeah, yeah, rats things do just, just die. Things die. I don't know if it's just me. The stream's gone very powerpointy. Power. Oh, you're right. Encoding overloaded. Continue. Consider Ooh, turning down. Think. Yeah. Boo. Well, there's one deep out to order. All right, I'm not sure what was happening, but it stopped. Which is, you know, how the best computer things get fixed. Think? No, it's gone all. No, it's gone again. Which is funny because I just closed stuff and it's still going. God damn it. Okay, so I need to lower the settings a bit again. The annoying thing is, like, obviously I can't change any of the settings while streaming. <clears throat> so this whole fiddling with, with uh, like, trying to make it less bad. What would you change? What do you need to change? Um, I want to, I, I guess I'm going to put, so I put the, the, um, what's it called? Number of pixels up, back up again. And I obviously went a bit too high, so, I'll, like, I'll, going down, I'll go down again before I next stream, but during the stream, um, I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just have to, we'll just, we'll just have to suck it up, but like every so often it might get a bit power pointy. Although if you point out when, I would be interested to know, see if it's related it's to anything you're doing. Yeah, I wasn't doing anything when you said that before, but, um, Oh, now then. Yeah, you had to really, didn't you? Well, it just makes it everything safer, doesn't it, really? You don't want to put a strength four witch on the floor. 
against someone who's given up the will to live, and therefore will be will be fouling everything. Wow, that tackle rat has been a, a rock, hasn't he? Okay, now I've used my reroll, but he has got dodge. But then I do need to do a handoff. Okay, stand you up first. Do you need to do a handoff? Well, I kind of said it now, so I got it. Do you need to do a dodge? I just get away from the rogue, don't I? Anyway, do what you're gonna do. <laughs> I, you know, I could have just been taking the piss. I can't, I can't, uh, you know, express any more information. Oh, Raven hates fouling, so he's not going to foul. And, you know, if you really wanted to be rowdy, you should have made that, that pass, because Crop, who had the ball, was on 30 SPP. Very disappointed. Uh, well, okay. Potato engaged. Now, potatoes against rats, not really that great an idea in my opinion just saying i don't mind it because um ethel was definitely in a really tough position he wasn't in a dominant position at all except for being one nil up and it being his opponent's drive yeah that was my that was the joke oh okay good just i i, I thought you were being serious <laughs> <laughs> Too deadpan. I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, I punch, I really? but never mind. oh, these all these good ideas come too late. Well, yes, that's because we're not allowed to coach you. So. No, I know, I know. <laughs> and it's not like I didn't mention before that you needed to. Ro okay, well, that that blodger is who I think I would have gone for the ball sack with. I also would have sidestepped somewhere differently with the sidestepping yeah, guy. my guy. Yeah, that's fine. With the rat ogre. Yeah, I mean, that's what, I was thinking if maybe... Maybe the potato is a good idea because it forces him to blitz with the thrower rather than trying to do the GFI with the roger. Which he doesn't make. No. <clears throat> and there's a double one there anyway. I would have... Yeah. It's almost like it's a better idea than using the Roger. I was about to say that maybe the reason for potatoing being a good idea is that you're getting hit by a thrower rather than a rat ogre. Because a sensible coach would hit with the... You could have stalled. I know, but I'd rather have two on the clock. And yeah, I mean, it's only rats. Rats they... don't score well in two turns. No, it's probably best just to give them any chance of winning. Yeah, give them, give them those four. Any chance of a tie, sorry. Yeah. All this advice after the fact. Well, wait, that's yes. It's, we're not we're not allowed to give you advice after the fact. before the facts, are we? No, that's true. Um, we need to give you more bad advice before the fact. Yeah. Give me bad advice. That's fine. That feels like a waste of time. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh. I guess we need to fill air and actually talk about stuff then. Now giving any... Oh, actually, <clears throat> Ethelred was kind of unlucky. He didn't get two of his players back, and those one of those two was his kicker, so no kicker. Although, admittedly, having killed two Storm Bandits is still free. So, AB8 in this game, not been great. AB7's been fine. Yep, yeah, sounds about right. All the removals are AB8. None of the, <laughs> the AB7, including some of the AB7. Like, Ethel's got two or three players on AB7. Because there's the witch, and then there's at least one armor bust. Player. There we are. Yeah, just one. And there's completely unprotected AV7 on the pitch as well. Well, Ethelred not protecting his AV7. 
No, I was talking about the just. Uh, oh, the like, the rats. Yeah. yeah. Not that they, they weren't being protected by or anything like that. Just skillless line rats. Yeah, yeah. No, no protection skills. Another high kick. Surely you go with one of the gutters. Nope, you go with the thrower. Oh, I don't know that one, Rochelle. I've got. I do have some girls allowed. Wait, is it girls allowed? On my Spotify? Confusing with girls allowed. That's, you know, a very good question. You go with the gutter under that high ball, right? Yeah, yeah that's what I, I literally said. I would put the gutter yeah, sorry, under. Sorry, I'm behind. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no reason to go with the throw in that situation. I mean, maybe he wants the ball to be on strength three? But I mean, you, you want a two turn, surely, so you're going to hand it off no matter what. Yeah. Again, I think I think we sort of saw from once it got under pressure there that he's clearly tilted about the uh, storm vermins, which <laughs> I would be as well. It's not like it's a, an unreasonable thing to have happened. He did he did roll a one anyway, right? As well, so yeah, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. But... Yeah. But I was always taught not to to look at plays based on the what actual dice. Happened. Yeah, true. Even though I do it every time. Of course. No, it wasn't Girls Aloud that I was thinking of. There's someone else who's like Girls Aloud. Three girls from the the 90s, let's say. I can't remember who, though. Okay. Talk about girl bands from the 90s or something. Yeah. Yep. Who could I be confusing with Girls Aloud? Bewitched. No, no, I definitely remember Bewitched. I have a single by Bewitched. It was given to me as a joke. Well, this is okay, the time. I'm going to listen out for my um, daughter, so I'm just going to headphones off for a minute. But, okay, um, cool. Yeah, if anything happens, I'll chat. Cool. So does that mean he can't hear us, but but we can hear him? Uh, yeah, I think so. Do you do anything more complicated here than blitz one gutter and mark the other one as extensively as possible? Yeah, just yeah. Try and just turn a turn, essentially. Yeah, I think that's exactly what you would do. Like, he's got four turns left, so getting him to burn one turn would be enough. He's not done that because he's blitzed one gutter runner and then he's left one other player on the other gutter runner. Well, admittedly, the one player he's left is anti five, so it could be that he's hoping for a pass that would lead to an intercept. I think you have. Massively overestimated the amount of thought that has gone into that. <laughs> yeah, you, you just double mark that. Yeah. If you could, ha you could hand off to the guard gutter runner, and then. I mean, also you got two tackle, and I would, I would like one of the tackle to be on the gutter runner who's still scoring threat. Okay. Well, because right now it's just, it's just a. Oh, it's just a. Roll another one in nine with the Rass Ogre before you do anything else. That's what it is. I haven't seen that yet, but... <laughs> yeah, well, that will do it. I mean, you know, he probably can be a bit aggrieved at his bad luck with the Rat Ogre dice. The Rat Ogre has critically failed at certain points, yeah. But he has also started turns with Rat Ogre Dice, which, you know, is generally accepted to be a pretty bad idea. So, again, I wouldn't. you don't mind it if it's critical 
to the turn. But I don't feel that the two times that it's happened in the second half, it's been critical to open with the Ratoga. Yeah. Uh, and now Ethel Edkins. And. Oh. You could have surfed that gut runner. He's going for the ball, though, isn't he? Like, that's... Mm, you can't really. Then get one dice from behind. Not a fan. Or is he going to. No, yeah, he's glitzing with the witch. Uh, you can get two. You uh, can get two dice. Yeah. Can you? If you bring the tackler on the right hand side round yeah. and then use. It's bad recovery if you do that, but you can get two dice. Yeah. Might as well just mark up with tackle now and put. Uh, where are you going to put the tackle? There's no edge four scoring threats. There's only two turns. Yeah, that's it. Ethelwyn has actually won another game. Oh my god, how disappointing. You Damn. just got all in for the counter score now, don't you? You don't worry too much. Just try and get third. Oh, he still has a... Uh, Oh, what's it? But the rat ogre has just cast. Oh, it's just badly hurt. It's fine. So yeah, two one at worst. And that was the blitz. Yeah. So oh no, yes, the ball can now dodge fairly easily that way. Get the gutter runner in in there and throw to it. It's the gutter runner in range. Sorry, I didn't see that. But yeah, yeah, dodge yeah. Dodge out and and run GF finance in the end zone. So, go on a dodge, throw a dodge, pass. No, he's going, to, he's going for punching. 10, he's punching instead. It's fine. No need to score turn 15. I'm currently scrolling through my liked songs in uh, uh, in Spotify, trying to remember. There's definitely the band which I think of as as uncool, in the same way that I think uh, Girls Aloud are uncool. But I have a, a song I really like. No, yeah, there's really? one particular song that is amazing. That is just uh, and it's and it was, <clears throat> I think it was produced by by Pharrell. But it's, it's really good. I can't remember what it is. And yeah, I'm going to find it and then everyone's going to go, oh no, terrible taste. <laughs> no excuse. It might just be me, but I feel that Raven's heart might not be in the end of this game. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the the blitzing with the rat, well, even just punching with the rat ogre at, at very inappropriate times. Oh, uh, Galencio gets a point out of the betting competition, but he thinks that uh, Ethelred might be the only point that he gets this round. He's bet on me this week, and I'm, I'm confident. <laughs> is he? Is this actually a snide way of telling us we're both gonna we're both gonna lose while Ethelred wins? Yeah. <laughs> is he bet against you, or is he bet for you? I have no idea. I, I, I will. Everyone's bet for you because you're playing like mental. Um, oh yeah, I'm playing against Kislev. Yeah. Oh, you back? Yeah, I'm back. Just for the minute, anyway. Till well, till the game ends. There's only two turns left now. Um, oh, yes, Spider, you did, you did in fact miss the death of Dizzy Bess, the plus strength gutter runner, uh, and no, also, Storm Vermin, Storm Vermin, sorry, Storm Vermin, yeah. and also a movement bust on Andy Davo, coincidentally, who also, you know, as you are aware, had his one turn move bust today, not today, yesterday, huh? day before yesterday. 
See, this is the play he could have done last turn. But he wanted to blitz with the with the rover instead. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. I thought I would have concentrated on the scoring. Okay, we're going to get the one turning masterclass from Ethelred then. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get an SPP on that guy. That's all I want. Uh, no, the only, the uh, Ethelred has a a sickly child at home, so the uh, that's the. The thing that's keeping him from from streaming himself or from being on the mic more. I don't know. I haven't got enough for one turn. I don't think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Oh, your KO rolls have been terrible. Those, those two have stayed out for the last two turns. What a dicing! Absolute dicing. Yeah, I feel I feel a bit for um, Raven. They haven't had the luck really. Oh, Andy's rat, so he might actually know how to defend against one turn better than you. You don't even really, with this number, you don't really go for it. You just I'm not, rather no, you pass on the player gonna, that needs to. Get the blocks in and then... Um, yeah, I guess. Pass. Especially... Oh, no. okay. The first thing I'm going to do is vanity pass on crop, because I haven't got any re-rolls either, so that's more important than any blocks. Uh, yeah, I think I did spider. Um, what was it? Oh, I've forgotten since. I think it was it. I thought it was Dan. Was it you? Um, there we go. Yeah, it was a lone. I've just seen Spider's comment. It was a loner Jeer fighter foul. Oh and yeah. Then, and then the Apo just confirmed what was already the diagnosis. Dead into dead. Esque. It's a shame though, because the second comment that um, Andy was just going to go into rebuild mode and try and rebuild his team, I was hoping it would have just crushed his spirit and his will to play <laughs> CC anymore. I, I mean, I wouldn't even. I, I, I after Danton said, um, was it Danton who said? Oh no, no, so it was Nibbenen who said. I wait, no, who, who said like, he, he's not that bad? Oh no, it was Spider who said. Well, someone said. I'm looking in the wrong place, that's why. I was going to say, you just said seven different people just said something, but what they said was no, unconfirmed. Th some, someone said uh, that, you know, you'd keep him anyway. He's still movement nine with with sprint, right? Still a pretty good player. He's, One it's only, option. It's a, yeah, it's only a bit of bloat. And, can, and it means maybe you don't protect him as much. So, um, you know, I wouldn't hate keeping him. No. And especially with Wood Elves, you know, they want they want their, you know, full team, right? Yeah, I don't think it's an immediate fire. I think maybe you don't appo it anymore, potentially. There we go. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Ha oh, I, I didn't realise he was at AV buffs already, so. Uh... Two one. Well done. Six for winnings as well. Oh my god, that's two weeks of six in a row. Oh, and has the stream actually frozen anyway? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Ah, lol. The, um, you'd be pleased to know the Marquis stole the um, MVP. <laughs> Excellent. Did you get a level up? You did, didn't you? Oh, that's the wrong button. Yeah, I did. I'm going to roll for them now. If um, my opponent is gracious enough to press the button, which he has. Push the button. Push the button. Is that the song you were trying to think of? 
wasn't the one I was thinking of for that is who's that? It's Girls Aloud, isn't it? Is that no, girl? that's the Sugar Babes. Sugar Babes. Oh, it's the Sugar Babes I'm thinking of. Oh. <laughs> the Sugar Babes had some good songs. Did they? Yeah, no, seriously. Yeah, they did. Um, okay, first one. Leo Sasser Mashok, the seventh. He's a blodge tackle. He gets double two. <laughs> so I think that'll be guard, won't it? On a blitzer. Yeah. It's gotta be. It could be so mighty blow. You got you got tackle already. It could be mighty blow. Uh, What's the other one? What's Croc get? Let's have a look at what the other one gets. Yeah, maybe maybe guard is better actually. You don't have any guard. You want to win so games. I've got one you? guard, but he's a armor seven and movement six. Like neither armor seven nor armor movement six are particularly bad, you know. Prop, who's just a block lineman, gets uh, eleven. <laughs> so it could be AG five, but I'm not really not happy with that on a lino. I mean, okay, so uh, five also. This actually works with the conversation heavy. about about Andy, right? So, um, you know, Andy's team is basically complete, except he's going to delete one catcher and. Get a new catcher and spend his time and effort building that catcher up so he's a new good catcher, right? And in the same way, you don't want to have too many project players on a team, but your team doesn't have any project players, really, does it? Not really. No, he's a uh, crop. Is blodge? Yeah. I'm tending, I'm tending now towards AG five. Yeah, yeah, I think I think you, uh, yeah, exactly. You like you know, AG five is he's he's pretty sweet, right? Yeah. What would you get next? I mean, actually, is is blodge? Actually, five as good as rest. Rog actually five. What would you, what would his job become if he's actually five? Be the ball retriever. So you'd be going leap and sure hands or something. No, oh, sorry, he'd be the um the ball carrier. Okay. Actually, five or an outlet. So go sprint. Or sure feet. You want that on movement six though? No, yeah. So that's the problem. Like AG five is good, but does it help because he's movement six? Does he? Is he just doing the same job that Marky Desad is doing at the moment anyway? Yeah. You want to build him as a catcher, except Marky Desad is a better catch. I mean, like you could make him the, the ball retriever, and then Marky Desad becomes more of a catcher. Yeah, I mean AG five makes it him just generally better at retrieving the ball. He's blodged already, so. On the lineman, you're already wondering what to go next, wouldn't you? I mean, I you always complain about not having tackle on Marky Desarge. You could build Brock with tackle. Yeah, and he, with with two AG five on the team, he should level quicker, shouldn't he? Yeah. Oh fuck it, let's go for AG. Six and what? Uh, and and Dreamland, what do you think? Before what, about taking the edge? Yeah. Yeah, I would take the edge. Fine. I mean, basically, two, two is better than having one. <laughs> like, I know that sounds really simplistic, but I mean, but is is there a point at which there's too much edge? If you want a fourth one, would you yeah, take the fourth probably. one? Well, I'd, yeah, I'd just well, sack, I'd sack one of them, wouldn't I? No, you just blow. <laughs> just, but I don't know if you take it. But I, I would, having one being able to sack and the other one being able to retrieve does sound good. There was a little while where my kids' left team had uh, three actually five catches. Um, and and it, it was good. I've got to say, it was a lot of fun. I think four or five is probably the point at which it's a bit too much bloat. I don't think it's really worth the TV for a fifth one. Maybe for a fourth one, right? Yeah. Now, Leo, the blitzer, who's got um, a double. I've only got one guard on the team. He's blodged tackle already. So guard would be good, but he does hit more than support so maybe Mighty so Blow is a better option the reason I would think more about Mighty Blow than I would otherwise is that as you said the team's sort of done outside of that mm. so like any of the other players that roll a double that's pretty much what you're going to give them and him being the only one that so if it was on Killigar instead I'd probably be more inclined to just go guard Yeah, but because, because he's, he's got already tackle got tackle already. I mean does it detract from the witch though doesn't really, does it? Because whoever's got the best chance to get the ball. Well, no, the witch and... still serves the that purpose being strength four. But if it's just a to hit things sort of 
yeah, move let's make it, let's make Leo. Kingsley and having Mighty Blow is obviously a benefit for just doing that, just yeah, your let's standard. Make, let's make and elf teams with um, Mighty Blow are horrible. So let's um, let's just go for that. Let's go for Mighty Blow. I mean, I suggested Mighty Blow, but you know, I'm I'm you know, I'm I, I think I think either, either are equally good, right? Yeah, yeah I, 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 I like having a killer. Tackle now. Mighty Blow is nice. But, you know, I also think that, that you know, a, a guard player would, would not have been a terrible idea. No, what, 160k in the bank now. Um, 1800 TV. Do I get another witch now? Or do I just... What's your next game? That's a good point. I think before you get another witch, you should get another lineman. Another one? Yeah. What, get rid of the armor busted one? No, just, just get a 12th player. Um, because you need you need three skillless linemen for the LOS, and then three more for the second line. At the moment, you, that Agi that Agi five lineman is now a positional, right? He should yeah, go. He should he go will. and join your blitzers. Yeah, he's on the second line, isn't he? And so you you want six players who are uh, who are chaff, chaff, whatever you call it, chaff, chaff. chaff. <clears throat> you also have a lot of AV seven already, so having a bench. Is probably I more valuable. I've got blue um and, uh, overlords orcs next. Yeah, and it is it is a long term league, so you know bloating up is not really a bad thing, right? Uh, we've missed loads of comments about from Spider by the way, because uh, oh, uh well firstly he said you should take the Agi a hundred percent and yeah, you know, right. yeah you should. That's, I think that's where we got to. But it was nice to discuss it a little bit, right? Yeah. Uh and then it was you should take mighty blow. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, I've got orcs next. But that's fine. They've only got one tackle. Okay. Well, I might buy the other lineman next. Oh, I should see what TV they are, shouldn't I? Really. <laughs> Galencio says this team is half pro elf. Because <laughs> of all uh, the edgy busts. I mean, it's pretty much full, like because you've got two blitzers that are armor eight on pro elves. Right, the Blue Ravagers have got a TV of 1560 uh, and 150k in the bank, but 13 players, three guard. So it's not very well developed, but what is there is solid, isn't it? So if I get another player, that will put me to 1870, which will give him, God, nearly 300. Yeah, but Orcs, like, don't, like, more inducements is not great for them, right? Once they've, they've got a wizard and, you know, and a bribe. They kind of, they're you know what they're getting out of the wizard what they're getting out of their inducements is is less and less right so you should be going for more more and more players like and going up to three hundred from two fifty doesn't stop that in any like you'll no. still have the wizard and bribe no matter what you just would be denying like a babe or or him giving me, like possibly deciding to spend money on something else. Which would probably be a mistake. Yeah, yeah, I've only got eleven players as well, so I could do with one bench, couldn't I? Then I could start fouling properly. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what you should do is you, you, what you should do is, is uh, your next level of one of the linemen who's already got block should take dirty player and then sneaky kit and then you can I foul. Would. I would completely do that. That's my next lineman basically. Yeah. About. Not the agile one, obviously. No. I thought what you were going to say there was you should just play a team that has built-in flat foulers rather than elves. I mean, elves can foul, right? I've, I've, you know, I know that's plenty of elf that's coaches who foul, but definitely having a bench... That's 110 fouling player, though, with sneaky get and dirty player. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I like a DP line O2, but even for elves... But how many players would you have on your team? I, I like having a DP lineman a lot more than I like Etherwedge fouling with 11 players <laughs> again <laughs> when he's already lost two. <laughs> yeah, in fact, if, you, if you're going to foul, why not lean into it? Get two linemen. That wasn't a serious I suggestion. Work. I do with two players against the Orcs, to be honest, but I'll only get one, I think, just to keep... Yeah, keep some bank to replace bank. any actual positionals. Yeah, because I mean Edward, the the guard lineman. I mean, I'd like, I would like him. I wouldn't be gutted if he left because he, while he does have guard, he's movement six and armor seven. So they've already played, right? So yeah, they won a game. Oh, so let's have a look at your win. I your, beat him last season, but 
But yeah, yeah, both of you stayed in that division. Were you about to say I'm top of the league? I'm top of the league. Yeah, you are in fact top of the league. <laughs> up and up until the point balls to the wall that plays his game at least. Yeah, just, just <laughs> <his> <laughs> oh, or is it Tub Rag? Is it is balls playing? No, it's not. No, Tub Rag's playing um, Sam P2 and balls is playing the other player. Cool. Well, I'll probably get another line then. All right, I bet I've got to go. Um, but All right, yeah, cool. Thanks, I'll speak to you later. Thanks for everyone for watching and thanks for your comments. All right, so I, do you have a preference on who I raid? No, whoever. Uh, I'll, back, so I'll see you later. All right. All right. Bye, everyone. Normally I'd raid early odds, but because Space is doing Chaos Gate and I was enjoying watching that late uh, before, I'm going to raid Space. So there, your uh, you you know this channel. Yeah, cool. Uh, all right, later, Spider. Thanks for being on, seeing, chatting and stuff. And thanks for thanks, Alentio and uh, uh, Rochelle. Sorry, didn't forget, didn't scroll up to find you. <laughs> all right, <laughs> seamless. Yeah, okay, nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, cheers. Bye. Well, I pressed the button. It's gone. It has gone. All right, cool. Yeah.